Hi guys, my name's Allie and welcome to Wednesday's Fantastic Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we're going to be dissecting some owl pellets. Now, what is an owl pellet, you might ask? Well, owls, just like other birds, don't have teeth to chew up their food, so they swallow it whole. Now, when they swallow up their food whole, they're able to di digest some of the good stuff, but the things that they cannot digest, the things that cannot go through their body, they end up throwing up back out. They, they regurgitate it, and that is an owl pellet. So it's kind of like throw up, but it's not really because it's just all of the indigestible material that owls can't process through their body. And it's really cool to look at these owl pellets because you can get an idea for what types of foods owls are eating. So things like fur and bones and feathers will all be in owl pellets because they can't digest those through their body. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what you have in your take and make kit and get started with our dissection today. In your take and make kit, you should have an owl pellet activity booklet that tells you what to do and what owl pellets are. You should have a bone chart, some toothpicks, a pair of tweezers, your owl pellet, which is wrapped in tin foil, and your two gloves. Let's get started. Before you begin, you want to lay out some newspaper or a piece of paper in order to put your owl pellet on. Next, you want to put on your gloves. So my gloves are a little bit big for me, but that's okay. So now I've got my gloves on. We're going to unwrap our owl pellet. And actually, I can't do this with my gloves, so I'm just gonna do it with my hands. You're gonna unwrap your owl pellet. Just take all the, all the tin foil off of it. It might be kind of hard to find the seam. But if you pick around for it a little bit, you can find it. And there it is. So I'm noticing right away that my owl pellet looks like it has some fur in it. So you can kind of see it looks a little bit fuzzy. I'm going to put it down. And let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what this looks like. Now I'm gonna take, my next step is I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna carefully start breaking my owl pellet apart. So I see, oh, I see a little bone in there. So I'm just carefully taking my owl pellet apart. I'm digging through with, with my toothpick and I'm gonna separate the bones, and I'm gonna put the bones in a pile over here. Oh, and there's another one. Ooh, this looks like it's a little beak or something like that. Let's see, or a little talon. Let's see. And basically, I'm just taking apart my owl pellet now using toothpicks and I'm going to use my tweezers also. Now you don't have to do this, but my gloves are far too big for me, so I'm going to use my hands and I'm just going to wash my hands afterwards. But it looks like here we have a small jawbone of an animal. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. So you can see some teeth there. So we can look at our bone identification chart and see what that bone is in particular. I'm gonna put that to the side and let's keep digging. Oh, I feel something hard in here. Looks like there could be something bigger. Oh, there are so many little bones in here. Just teeny tiny. They are so small, they fit in the palm of my hand, very small. And that makes sense because owls eat teeny tiny creatures. So here's another one. This might be from a mouse is what I'm thinking based on my bone identification chart. So I think that this was from a mouse. Let's see what else we can find.
Ooh, looks like some rib bones in here. They're so teeny tiny, they look almost like little pieces of sticks. See them? They're so small. Let's keep digging around and see what else we can find in here. Ooh, and I've got a skull. Oh, how cool. So I'm going to carefully get some of this fluff away from the skull. And this looks like it's a mouse skull. So let me show you this. So I have this little skull here. You can see the, the front of his mouth, the front of its mouth. You can see from the top where its eyes were. So I'm looking at my bone identification chart and I think that this is a mouse skull. That's kind of what it's looking like to me. Very neat. So you can find all sorts of things in your, in your owl pellets. Keep digging, keep looking at them. When you're all done, all you need to do is take your piece of paper, crumble it up, and you can throw it all away. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me as we dissected our owl pellets. That was so neat, I hope that you learned something. Make sure to take a picture of what you discovered in your owl pellet and send it to us at the library, we'd love to see. And thanks so much for stopping by today. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates from the Rapid City Public Library and more crafts. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.